Attitude team is really good. You know, all the new guys. I was talking to Ashley. He, he's a good veteran. Made a smart veteran move. Said he, he was okay playing, and then oh, his knee hurt a little bit before the running. But when you're Ashley and you're 37 and you do as much as he does, I said, I said, I'll give you slack. You can have a pro day. You know. So, you know. But he was saying, he goes, man, all the new guys are great. You know, get along really great. And even the young guys that we're mixing in. You know, Mendez out there. Yuli's not here right now with the national team. Some of the G2 guys, Adrian you know, Vera, you know, guys like that, and Alvarez, you, know, you can see for them this is this is good because they don't get to play with the time and space that they get to play with on the academy. On the academy, they dominate games, it becomes easy, they lose the ball, you know, you know, not an issue. The other thing we've been working a lot on is, and you saw it here when they lost the ball, is getting in there right away, pressing the other team, and you can see them win the ball back. And we showed them five clips from their 30 minutes against uh, against Salt Lake before practice. And all five clips were clips that ended up in really good chances for us, or maybe balls we should have played behind a little sooner, whatever. But all of them came from us creating a turnover. You know, All five clips started that way. So it's good to refresh that and for them to see that you know this is what they're doing and they're being successful with it. So. Any questions? Are you looking for Ashley to wear the band? Uh, you wore it the last game. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a... I'm not a coach who's like, okay, let's vote for a captain. Or, you know, I'm, I'm not like that. I'd like it to Just take pop place up. through osmosis and through yeah. natural, natural selection, almost to a certain so extent. I mean, I mean, Ashley's taken it. You know, last year was a little bit of a, you know, I don't know, coin toss for the there. Yeah. 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 yeah, don't ever mention, don't ever mention last year again. I mean, the other guys, obviously, Gio's not afraid to take it either. Um, Harry Kitchen's not afraid to take it, you know, because he's a very vocal guy as well. Sure. That's what we need. He's got leadership. Yeah. Vocal. So, yeah. No, he'll talk. If I tape his mouth shut, he couldn't play. <laughs> <laughs> so be when does uh, the slot on check in? Uh, <laughs> no, no. No, no. Uh, you know, until, until it's done, it's not done. And, you know, the, the issue becomes how are we doing as a team? And, and obviously... He's a big player, so you gotta cut your team to him. And, and what does that do to Ola? You know, can you play two strikers? If you play two strikers, that means that means somebody Boatang, Alessandrini, Lejet, Gio, somebody of that group will so sure you, can you do know. That. So it's good. It's good. Uh, it's high level problems, high level issues. You never know what's going to happen with injuries and and so forth. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? Thanks for being here. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. Thanks for coming yeah. back. No problem. no problem. Thanks for bringing Easy back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this season. Pardon me? Your expectations for this season. Well, we want to make the playoffs. You know, I want us to get off to a good start at the beginning of the season because that will help build the team's confidence and keep their confidence going. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say, hey, we're going to win the Western Division. That's Our main objective is to make sure that we're competitive again and we make the playoffs. And that by the time we hit the playoffs, we're ready to beat anybody. And that's out there. So... Uh, just getting the coordination, all the guys are still learning each other a little bit, you know, but at the end of the day, my expectation is always to win everything because that's just the way I am, okay, but on the same token, you know, I try not to say to a team, hey, it's championship or bust, you know, because you've got it to get there, you've got to take baby steps. If I want to walk out the gate, I got one foot in front of the other. I don't say, I'm out the gate, you know, I can't fly there, so... I want them to, hey, here's your thing. Let's get off to a good start. Okay, let's make sure that we that we average at least a point and a half a game. Greater than a point and a half a game, that puts you into the playoffs, and then we'll grab as much as we can. 
Is there anybody other significant others than the Dos Santos brothers for absence for the World Cup? Uh, think, uh, just those two, I think. Yeah. So. You know, those two. The U.S. didn't qualify, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Norway's not in there. Yeah. Okay. So there's nobody else that, that'll miss. You know, there'll be some internationals along the way, but I think we only play. I think we only play on one international window. That's the game against Vancouver in March. What is your formation going to be this year, Ziggy? Uh, right now, we're playing sort of a 4-2-3-1. Okay. Uh, it could morph into a 4-3-3, uh, depending on uh, on who they are, the personnel, like the second group. I played them more in a 4-3-3 because we don't really have a, uh, a playmaker or a second guy in that group, that you know, group so okay. it makes more sense for them. For me, what's most important is the style. It is the style we want to have possession, we want to look to get in behind when opponents play a high line. We want to have good wing play, you know, as well. We want to make sure we get opportunities on goal. We get people in the box. We want to press. Those are all things style-wise. Now, we can do that in a 4-4-2 and a 4-2-3-1 and a 4 just got to get the style down first. Yeah, yeah. The, and then accommodate us. The formation is just to get guys into their best positions. You know, so is that, is that Perry and Jonathan in the back holding? No, Perry would be the holding midfielder. Jonathan would be more what they call the eight, you know, a little more up and down. You know, and Geo then is more than ten. Yeah, so that, so they're playing in that kind of a, a configuration. Mm -hmm. But I think we finally have enough depth to where you can move them around yeah. and yeah, you should depth be okay. Yeah, depth is a little better. You know, yeah, we don't have we don't have Lassiter here right now. Jameson and Pontius missed. Uh, yeah, I was wondering where Jameson missed today. <laughs> Jameson's concussed. I don't know, but it's taken him a while. He did it on the day before, or the day we left for Tucson, and hasn't recovered since then. Lassiter has an ankle injury, but he might be out here tomorrow because uh, our fitness coach killed him inside the gym. So, <laughs> so he's that, like, "Yeah, I'm that not the gym make is it maybe out. tougher than being out here, you know, because it's an ankle sprain." And Pontius had something missing. Oh, okay. But again, thanks very much. Yeah, thanks for there. Well, I'm thanks, sure you guys. Thanks for having him, us. <laughs> catch him at the gate over there. Are you out here? Thank you. Uh, no. What are you going to pick him?